up guys today's video really needs no introduction most car fans would already probably know what this is this is the porsche 918 spider uh, this one has the martini livery spec and it's an absolute beauty to look at but in my opinion this is one of the most special and iconic cars that have been released in the past 10 even 20 years so this particular 918 isn't a dealership or showroom car or anything like that this is actually my buddy's personal vehicle and uh, he entrusted me with it uh, to basically get my own experience on the 918 and kind of have my own input because uh, i've driven a few cool cars lately and this is one that i've always wanted to kind of get an experience and kind of see what the hype is about with the 918 and i can tell you it's it's absolutely beautiful and it really does combine uh, the best of you know the past and the coming future technology so far now, this thing has a, a ton of carbon you know in the chassis uh, and a lot of it you don't really see because most of it is painted and porsche always say they love to paint their uh, carbon fiber because they believe that painting it without putting too much lacquer and protective coats on top of it actually makes it lighter so that's that's something that's interesting and uh, with all their YSAC models and the Ren Sport, the whole idea of it is to be lightweight and less is more when it comes to these things. And that's the difference also between the uh, 918 YSAC and the 918 Spider. None of them are standard, but there is a hundred pound weight difference. And that's pretty much what the YSAC meaning is with the 918s. And I have to say, you know, when, when Porsche do things, they, they do them right. I've always been a Porsche fan. Um, they always, you know, outdo themselves. And by the way, with Porsche figures, like when they give you zero to 60 times on the internet and all that, know always that in reality, it's better than what it is on the internet. When I'm looking at, you know, cars like this, I'm always looking at the little details. And, you know, I try my best to get into the mind or to try to get into the mind of the engineers that designed this thing. And you look at inside and you see all those like gills and the light shape and even simple things like when the wing goes down there's these rubber stoppers here because i mean you could do without it but then there would be more rattling and stuff like that so this kind of just secures the wing and kind of makes it like a one piece once it's tucked in and the active arrow is just beautiful to look at it's uh, it's very uh, a car like this is very inspiring i think for for any car lover and it's just beautiful now I'm not going to talk too much about this car, I actually want to show you this thing. Uh, the performance figures are really impressive and all that, but uh, you're only one Google click away from that stuff. Plus, I'm not the first person to actually review this car and this is not your traditional car review and whatnot. This thing, like I said, has been out officially since 2015 and, uh, you know, I just want to show you my experience and why I love this car in 2023. So I just can't wait to get in this thing and start driving because it is a very intimidating car really to look at and the value is intimidating the uniqueness is intimidating again porsche 9 918 918 units 918 units have only been made worldwide and there's less than 300 of these in the united states so it's a very rare vehicle but the value of this thing and the the way this thing appreciates it's almost like fine art in a way um all car collectors know what this thing is all car collectors desire this car this is something that's you know it is a piece of history and it's a significant piece of history not just a car because of you know the transition into the hybrid technology and setting the stage and setting the stone let's say for the hyper cars of today i mean you have to love the way this thing looks and the martini livery i think is just classic porsche you know no no other company uh other than lancia that i can think of uh, really is suited by the uh, martini livery so this is kind of awesome and to have a 918 in the martini livery is just absolutely beautiful and by the way this thing uh, the martini livery i've heard is actually close to twenty thousand dollars as an option and trust me people paid well way over that for this so enough of that traction stability off we go to race engine is on manual excellent Let's open the window a tiny bit. So the engine is right there, literally.
tough being in a car like this with 875 horsepower and almost a thousand pound foot of torque and being on public roads but you know what I'm very thankful that at least they're beautiful country roads kind of so it's not like I'm in the middle of a city I would feel it would be very painful for me to just be in the city and you know be in this thing because it wants to go it's like a cheetah it wants to pounce and and even though let's put it on high gear even though it's a hybrid and it starts the engine suddenly after you leave I still like to like my traditional self wants to warm up the engine so just because you've been driving it in electric mode for a little bit and then the engine turns on and you because you put it in race mode I personally still wouldn't just floor it I'd give it like four or five minutes to warm up because think about it the the actual um, petrol engine wasn't working so it's kind of like you just started it in a cold start in a sense so for me that still means that I need to give it some time to warm up is a hypercar but it's actually very tame to drive very safe tame it's not intimidating the only thing really intimidating to me about this right now is the the value of the car and the uniqueness of it impossible to just drive this thing and, and, and be well well behaved even though it is so tame and so well behaved in in hybrid mode or in the electric mode um who wants to really buy something like this and say you never hear anyone say yeah i, I drove my 918 uh, in hybrid mode all day today and it was wonderful that's not really why you buy something like this so um it's literally a, a spaceship for the road i mean i love everything but when you see this you for a car guy, you, you know that this is something that you don't really see on the road almost ever. So, And respect to the owner of this car, respect to Brian. He drives it. He drives it the way it's meant to be driven. And uh, I want that to be celebrated amongst car guys because people deserve to see things like this. Uh, Porsche spent, you know, millions of dollars on R&D and all that stuff to build something like this. Not just for you to enjoy as the buyer, but for the people to kind of get get a chance to experience its its beauty on the road and man does it look spectacular something like this it's it's timeless and i was gonna say that even with regards to its predecessor the carrera gt it it still is timeless and when i first you know saw the carrera gt i almost knew that that thing was gonna be a forever kind of car uh didn't feel it so much with this when i saw it uh on the magazines and all that only because of the technology inside because i thought to myself how can a hybrid become something that's timeless it's going to get outdated and technology is going to you know surpass it and it's not going to be something that's valid to to hold such value but i was actually wrong and now when i drive this thing i can see why it's it is timeless it is a beautiful combination between the hybrid technology those two motors uh, the weight distribution of this car, um, the the ability to drive this car, it's just, it's it's really nice. It's it's hard to explain. Because it's a mid-engine uh, lightweight hypercar, it's just actually really cool because it will slide, it will snap, and, and it will do that snap over steer. Once you get to drive this thing, once you get to kind of um, not just appreciate the true genuine Porsche spirit, which is still there in this thing, and, I, and it does sound great, it, it did impress me. Uh, it sounds great from the inside and it sounds great from the outside granted when the uh, when the engine is on it lets you truly appreciate the uh, the technology in this car and and really makes you feel that this thing is way ahead of its time it's it's very porsche from inside and by by that i mean the dials the the controls even the traditional style of you know putting the key in the ignition and, and starting it the steering wheel is very 
similar to the rest of the models and all that stuff. The seats, I mean, the GT3 RS and the GT3 seats, uh, the optional carbon buckets, are based on the 918 seats, which is pretty awesome. It still has that heavy front end feel because of the all wheel drive system. And you notice it so much under braking. And when you're coming at high speed and you're braking, it does not brake like a uh, rear wheel drive car. It still has that heavy weight because you have so much more rotational mass that you're trying to stop in the front. And uh, I don't know if the hybrid system uh, adds to that, but uh, it, I, I can definitely feel that. But such an enjoyable experience to drive and that rarely happens with me with with all-wheel drive models you know from a uh, a driver's point of view cars like this are amazing because back to my not intimidating point uh, the field of vision you have is exactly what a driver needs you know and the car is really a compact car it's it's uh, it's not a very big car so all the end corners i feel like i really know where the corners of this car is and how precise i can be so it's just a shame that I feel like I wouldn't be able to track one of these things because that's really where you're gonna enjoy the power of this car in a, in a safe environment. One thing I will tell you is that the rear view camera is freaking awesome. I mean, yeah, if I was a kid and I, I saw this thing on the road, I would freak out and actually scratch that even, even now if, if I'm a passenger or something or I'm driving my car and a 918 with martini livery pulls up uh, next to you, it's just, it's something. It's really something. I never thought I would say this, but I'm actually really happy that this thing has an electric mode where I could just put it in electric mode. Because when you're back into neighborhoods and you were, let's say, enjoying your drive and whatnot, and you don't want to come back and like alert everybody that you're back. So I like the discretion of this. It's really cool. It allows you to be discreet in such a, such a machine. All right, guys, so that's it for today's uh, 918 Spider video. Um, this thing is truly a beauty to drive and to look at. And I think, you know, this uh, this car is not just special in today's world, automotive world or, or in the past, but this thing definitely has a place in the future. Um, I only see these things going up in value. And thank you, Brian, for letting me, you know, experience this thing and have it for the day. Um, it truly was a pleasure to drive and God bless. Being that it's 2023 and having seen all the praise this car has received over the years, I went into this with very high expectations and can tell you it lived up to its Titan reputation magnificently. But then again, you'd expect nothing less from those lovely engineers back in Stuttgart. I know you hear a lot of people talking about how some cars are ahead of their time, but this is truly a fine specimen of technology, power, reliability, design, and even art. It's a genuine, efficient e-hybrid system allowing you to shift flawlessly between full electric EV mode and hybrid mode. To put things into perspective, the Formula 1 hybrid era began in 2014. This was already a prototype in 2010. And normally technology is taken down from Formula 1 to production cars, not the other way around. The optional YSAC package coupled with the Martini livery from Porsche make this an extremely special 918. You can say they are the icing and cherry on the cake, making this an even more wonderful experience.